CTW presents Sesame Street Show 2066, produced in color at Reese Color Tape. your very eyes. I will give him a problem in banana subtraction and Slimy the Wonder Worm will use his tiny little wormy body to show us the answer. Right, Slimy? Right. Okay. Now you will notice here that we have two bananas. One, two. Okay. Now, Slimy, I'm going to take one of these bananas away. We had two bananas. I'm taking one away. Now use your little worm body and move it into the shape of the number of bananas that are left. Look at that, folks. That's it. The number one. See? He wormed his little body into the shape of the number one because two bananas minus one banana leaves one banana. Okay, that's enough. All right, now. There's only one banana left here, Slimy, and I'm going to take that one away. Okay? Now, Slimy, use your little wormy body to show us how many bananas are left. Wow! He took off. He wanted to show us there's no bananas and no worm. <laughs> Amazing. Five bears in the bed, and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Four bears in the bed and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Three bears in the bed and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Two bears in the bed and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out, one bear in the bed, and the little one said, I'm lonely. Mmm, oh, that was a delicious piece of chocolate cake. Oop, oh, I got some chocolate on the napkin there. Hey, Ernie. Oh, hi, Bert. Hi, hi, Ernie. Hey, listen, uh, you know, did you see what I got for our dessert tonight? Two pieces of chocolate... Two pieces? Hey. Huh? Hey, where's, where's the other piece of cake? Um, uh, uh, another piece of cake, Bert? Yeah. Um, you, you, you were saving it for dessert, Bert? Yeah, right. Where'd um, I put that? Was it sort of like this piece here, about the same size and shape? Yeah. Uh, and was it uh, sort of the same... A uh, rich, chocolatey flavor is this piece here, Bert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that piece of cake. Ernie. Yes? Uh, Ernie, what do you have in your hands? Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> nothing, Bert. See? Ernie? Ernie, yes, didn't Bert? you just have a fork in one hand and a napkin with some chocolate on it in the other, huh? Yes, Bert. Yeah, and, and isn't this right here, right here, a plate full of chocolate cake crumbs, huh? Uh, yes, I, I think so, Bert. Uh, Ernie? Mm-hmm, they're Look chocolate, all right. Look at me, Ernie. Hmm? You ate that cake. You ate it. 
Well, how can you say that, Bert? How can I say that? How can I say that? You had the fork, the plate, the napkin. Now, what other explanation could there possibly be? Well, uh... Ah. Let me think. Uh, yeah, you think. Well, well, well maybe. No, what? No, no, maybe, Bert. Maybe yeah. I was just sitting here twiddling my thumbs when suddenly um, yeah. a monster came in, Bert. A monster? Yes, he was all sort of shaggy uh. and wild-eyed. And you see, he ate the cake. Yeah, sure. You know how monsters like cake, Bert. Ernie, what about the fork, huh? And the napkin? And the plate? Huh? Uh, Tell me about those. Well, let's see. Uh, 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 how about this? Now, maybe... Uh, just before he ate the cake, yeah. he sort of shook it over the plate and got the crumbs yeah. on the plate here. Uh, and, then he, and then he took a napkin and he wiped his mouth with it and he handed me the napkin. Yeah. And then he picked up a fork and he gave me the fork and then he walked out. How about that? It, you know, it, it could have happened that way, Bert. Oh, sure. Isn't that story just a bit far-fetched, Ernie? Just a bit? Well, I admit those are unusual things for a monster to do, but it, it could have happened oh, that sure. way, Bert. Oh, sure, sure. It could have happened that way, Ernie. It could have happened. Could have happened. Ah. Well, it, it could have happened that way. It didn't happen that way. But it could have. Couldn't it? Hey. Oh. Cake. Well, what are you doing? Oh. A... Listen. Oh, shake the crumbs. Shake the crumbs. Want a clean cake? Clean cake. Dum, 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 dum. But, but that cake is... Mm. Listen, I was pretty... Old napkin! Old napkin! Well, yeah, but... It's fork! It's fork! Yes. Boy! Did you see what he just did? He came out here and he wiped the... Hey, Ernie, I... I mean, you won't believe this, Bert, but a monster just... I don't want to talk about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven o'clock. Time to get up. It's a lovely eleven morning. 
I heard eleven worms yawning. I saw eleven cows sleeping midst the buttercups. I said, hold your cottage cheese, and they said, but dry up. Oh, eleven pretty birdies in the trees. Bright yellow beaks and pinky knees. Eleven chicks hatching, eleven cats scratching. Eleven's the number for me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, eleven ducklings quacking. Eleven pigs lip smacking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven's the number for me, don't you see? Eleven's the number for me. Oh, oh. oh. Just look around here, and the letter T. Ah, uh, let's see, it's gotta be around here. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Ha, ha, ha. T. Ah, uh, I'll need a shovel. The treasure. Should we uh, ask Oscar what's going on here? Definitely or? not, yeah. but let, no, let's ask him. Oh. On second thought, no, I don't even <laughs> want to get involved hey, in this. Hey, hey, wait there. Don't you want to know why I'm throwing out umbrellas, ukuleles, and underwear? Hmm? Okay, Oscar, why? Well, it's because I'm cleaning out my tea room. It was a mess. Your tea room? Yeah, you know, the letter T. Yeah, we, we know the letter T, Oscar, but umbrella, ukulele, and underwear all start with the letter U. I know that. Well, if you know that, then why are they in your letter T room, Oscar? Because the stuff is trash, and trash starts with the letter T. Hmm. See you around. 
Oh, wait, wait a minute. Hey, Oscar, wait, wait a minute. What? You can't just go away and leave this mess out here. You call this a mess? Yeah. Of course. Well, all right, all right. If it bothers you so much, then throw it back, okay? But aim for the tea room. Yeah, but Oscar, if we throw it back in the tea room, it'll make it a mess again. I know. That's the fun of cleaning out your tea room. You get to mess it up again. <laughs> okay, start messing, How but do don't be too neat. Get involved don't ask in me. Now, see, we came out of our house. Yep, here we, here we are. Good aim! Good aim! Okay! Today, I'd like to talk about good things to eat. And Cookie Monster has agreed to help me. Yeah, yeah, me like to talk about good things to eat. Even better, me like to eat good things to eat. Uh -huh. Now, Cookie Monster, yeah. I'm going to ask you to taste some deliciously wonderful, mm. tempty, tasty, mm. mouth-watering, Water. yum, mm. yum, out of sight oh. treats. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. not only are these treats very, very tasty, mm. tasty. they're mm. very good for you, too. A nice plus. You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. 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 Voila! <laughs> what that? Here we have some delicious raisins. Yeah, but, but, but. And some cucumber spears. Yeah, but. And some carrot sticks yeah, and but, some apples. Yeah, but Maria, what? You said delicious. What, what, what the cookies and, and cupcakes? Well, that, that's the whole point, Cookie Monster. What? Cookies and cupcakes are good sometimes, but I want everyone to realize that treats like this can be tasty, too. Oh, Maria. Oh, come on. This is very disappointing. Oh, come on, Cookie Monster. Oh. Don't let me down. Oh. Come on, try a carrot stick, please. Oh, oh. Please. carrot stick, all right. Um. Well? Pretty good. Oh, good. Not well, bad. Here, try some cucumber spears. Cucumbers. Here you go. Um, 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 um. How's that? All right. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Here, try some of these delicious raisins. Raisins? Yes. Um, 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 um. That good. Good, huh? Mm, delicious. Terrific. Now try some apples. Apples. Oh boy. Um, mm. Um, mm. Um, mm, that's delicious. Oh good. Oh good, mm. Cookie Monster. That good stuff there. Now tell me, what? what do you think? What do you think of these tasty treats that are good for you too? They tasty and they're good for you. Uh. They, they, they're delicious. Me love them. Good. Mm. Good. Mm, well, boy. what did you learn today, Cookie Monster? Maria. Me learn that from now on, me going to eat treats that good for me. Yeah, and then maybe cupcakes and cookies after. Mm. Good cookie monster. Ah, mm, ah, that's good. That's just what I wanted to hear. Mm. Well, <sighs> now I'll just clear these plates away. Whoa, wait. Plates? Oh, that's the best part. Um, 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 I give up. Carrots. Potatoes. Lettuce. Turnips. Tomatoes. Cucumbers, onions, celery, green beans, carrots, potatoes, lettuce, turnips, tomatoes, cucumbers.
Uh, excuse me, I'd like to use the telephone. I'm waiting to use it myself. You want to use the telephone? You're an alligator, aren't you? That's right. Wait, you're going to telephone your wife and tell her you're going to be late getting home for supper, right? That's right. <laughs> Hello, honey. I'm still downtown, so I thought I'd telephone to say I'll grab something to eat here. <laughs> Funny telephone. <laughs> Gonna be a little late. <laughs> grab something to eat here. <laughs> That's right. Presenting the further adventures of everybody's favorite hero, the man who is faster than lightning, stronger than steel, smarter than a speeding bullet. It's Super Grover. And I am Choo Choo. And now, on to our story. Yes, on to our story. Unbeknownst to most people, when Super Grover is not out doing brave deeds, he poses as mild-mannered Grover Kent, ace doorknob salesman for Acme Incorporated. Anybody want to buy a doorknob? Still, he is always on the alert for people in trouble. <laughs> I think I am lost. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. It is a little girl in trouble. Super Grover shall rescue her. But first, I must find a telephone booth in which to change my clothes into my hero costume. Yes, then I can rescue her and see where the telephone booth. Hmm. But I do not need to worry. I have a dime. I will telephone my mommy and she will come get me. Hmm. I can see by the sign up there that says telephone that this is a telephone booth. Ah, that is a telephone booth. Excuse me, just be a minute. Uh, but, Sorry, but, I just, it's a very important. Uh, you don't understand it. Okay. Okay. Well, at least I was right about it being a telephone booth. And here I am, super... Oh, I forgot I got the bag and the hat still. Oh, excuse me, little girl. I, this is very important. I got the chain so I can save you. I'll be right, be right there. For her, excuse me. You don't understand. I just want to use the telephone. Here I am. Super oh. oh, I forgot my helmet. Oh, dear. Wait. Ah! That gentleman is no gentleman. And here I am. Super Grover. And now I will rescue the little lost girl. Where'd she go? Oh, little girl. Little girl. I'm here to save you now. Do not worry. Super Grover will take her home. Sally Spider and I love to skate. I use only two legs and it's great. When I try three or four, I fall down a lot more. And I really go crazy with eight.
How many of you have ever been to the zoo? Me. Yeah? Me. Well, you know, not all the animals in the zoo, but most of them come from Africa. And in the beginning, all those animals in Africa were all the same color. The giraffe, the zebra, the leopard, the elephant, the hippopotamus. All of them were just a great big brown, muddy gray. All one color. And they lived in harmony. They lived very well with each other. They enjoyed each other's company. All except for one animal, the hyena. He was a mess. He always provoked problems with the other animals. He was always teasing them. He was always being very cruel. And one day, Tortoise was walking through the woods, as Tortoise always did, and minding his own business, enjoying the trees and the flowers and things happening. And all of a sudden, out of the bushes jumped Hyena. And Hyena says, ah, uh -huh. where you think you're going, Tortoise? And Tortoise, who was very intimidated by Hyena, said, uh, well, no place in particular. He says, oh, yeah, well, you're going nowhere because... Just then, Hyena pulled a big, long vine from a tree, tied Tortoise up by his hind legs, and pulled him up in the tree and left him there dangling. And for the longest time, nobody came along until finally the zebra came. And the zebra looked up and saw Tortoise and said, Tortoise, what in the world are you doing up there? And Tortoise said, I am not here by choice, zebra. You know, I was walking along minding my own business when Hyena using his usually nasty self to do nasty things, grabbed hold of me, tied me by my hind legs, pulled me up in the tree and left me hanging here. Please, Zebra, will you cut me down? So Zebra said, sure, I'd be very glad to. So Zebra let Tortoise down. Tortoise was very, very grateful. Tortoise said to Zebra, he said, Zebra, I don't know how to repay you. I wish there was really something I could do to, to express how, how much I appreciate what you've done for me. And Zebra said, well, what can you, what can you do? do what, what do you like to do most? And Tortoise said, well, the only thing I really like to do is paint, but that, does, that isn't much help. And Zebra said, yes, it is. Maybe you can paint me a little different color than the rest of the, rest of the guys in the jungle. So Tortoise said, okay. And he said to Zebra, what would you like? And Zebra said, well, I think, I think I'd be cool. Give me, give me some white stripes and give me some black stripes. That'll be enough, just that much. So sure enough, Tortoise painted him beautiful white stripes, beautiful black stripes. And at the end, Zebra went off feeling very proud, loving his new colors. As he was walking through Mandrill, now Mandrill is a monkey in Africa. Mandrill took a look at Zebra and he says, wow, where'd you get those hip colors? And uh, Zebra said, my friend Tortoise, look what he did for me. And then Mandrill said, do you think you'd do that for me? He says, I don't know, go ask. So Mandrill hung his tail to the tree and began to swing from tree to tree until he discovered where Tortoise was, dropped down and said, Tortoise, I saw what you did for Zebra. What can you do for me? So Tortoise said, okay, I'll tell you what. I think I'll give you some light blue ridges on your cheeks. I think I'll give you a nice pink nose. And with that beard that you have there, I think I'll, I'll paint it golden. And for the rest of you, I think I'll give you a nice silver-brown shimmering coat. And Mandrill said, that sounds great. Go ahead. So Tortoise did just that. And Tortoise stepped back and took a look, and he was very pleased with what he had done. Off went our Mandrill, swinging through the trees, feeling very happy. Watching this all along was uh, 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 tilapia. Now, tilapia is a fish that comes from Africa. And tilapia went up to Tortoise and said, look, Tortoise, I... I've been watching what you did for Zebra and what you did for Mandrill. He said, could you do the same for me? He said, of course, I know it'd be more difficult because maybe my colors will come off in the water. So uh, Tortoise said, no, I have a special way to fix the colors so they don't come off in the water. So let me try. So he took uh, tilapia, the fish, and in his fins he painted a lu luminescent, a kind of a shiny turquoise blue with red stripes. And for his head and his body, he gave him a kind of a green, shiny color black spots, and on the tail, he gave him some green with turquoise blue tips. And for the last, most brilliant stroke of all, Tortoise decided to give Tilapia red eyes. But Tilapia went off feeling great. Now, Hyena, who'd been hiding in the bushes during all of this, leaped out at Tortoise 
and said, uh-huh. Somebody cut you down, huh? And Torta said, oh, please, hyena, don't start up with me again. And then he said, don't tell me what to do. He said, I've been watching you, all those colors you put on all those other guys. He said, I want the same thing, but I want all the colors. And Tortoise looked at him, he says, you want all the colors? He said, all the colors that you gave them and any others you can think of. So Tortoise began to put together the blue, a little red, a little yellow, a little purple, a little green, a little white, and he just mixed it all together. And of course, I must tell you, if you don't know it, when you mix all those colors together, they come out looking terrible. They come out looking blech, very muddy and not very attractive. And then Tortoise painted Hyena this terrible, ugly, muddy, gray, blech color. And so today, if you go to Africa, as I have gone, to a place called Tanzania, where there's a big park for animals, you'll see all these animals with their beautiful colors that Tortoise had painted them. And the ugliest one you'll find there, who has this ugly, muddy, gray color, is hyena. And that's a story about how all the animals that you see in the zoo that are from Africa got their colors. How about that? That was good. It was great. It was great? That was good. All right. This is the capital letter U. It's round on the bottom. See? And if you stand on it, like this, you can rock back and forth. <laughs> but the capital letter is used mostly for names and places, like Utah. United States, United Nations. So you see the capital letter U is used for many things. But I like to play it like a guitar. <laughs> uh, excuse me, uh, do you mind if I take a picture of you. <laughs> say what? <laughs> I, I say, do you mind if I take a picture of you? <laughs> well, no, go right ahead. Uh, oh, oh, thank you. Uh, hey, uh, what's thou bear? Huh? Thank you. <laughs> The Lion and the Mouse. A lion was asleep in his den when a mischievous mouse, just because he felt like it, ran across the lion's paw and right up on the royal nose of the king of beasts who, of course, woke from his nap. The huge lion slapped his paw on the frightened little mouse and was going to put an end to him. Uh, but, but, uh, please don't kill me. If you forgive me this time, O oh King, Your Majesty, I will never forget it. You uh, never know when a day may come when I can do you a favor and repay your kindness. The lion, smiling at the idea that this little mouse could help him, the King of Beasts, let the tiny mouse go. Sometime later, the lion was walking through the forest looking for his prey, when suddenly... He was caught in a net that some hunters had set to catch him. He let out a roar that you could hear throughout the forest. Even the little mouse heard the lion roaring. He recognized the voice of the lion who had let him go. So he ran to the spot where the lion, his friend, lay trapped and tangled in the net of ropes. Well, your majesty, I, uh, I know you didn't believe me when I said that I would be nice to you because you were nice to me, but... Here is my chance. And without another word, the little mouse began to nibble with his sharp teeth at the ropes that held the lion. So the lion was able to crawl out of the hunter's trap and get away. The moral of the lion and the mouse is, if you're nice, something nice might happen to you.
C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S. T, U, V. W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? I'd love to. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. I am glad you sang with me. You're lucky, Mort. All I got in my lunchbox is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Introducing Tommy Trueheart and his 11, count them, 11 lions. Hmm, let's see, 11 lions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? Why, where's number eleven? Ta da! Eleven! Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Big Bird. What are you doing? Oh, oh hi, Susan. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, playing imaginary school. Oh. See, the imaginary teacher asked a question, so I raised my hand. In school, you always raise your hand before you talk, so nobody will talk all at the same time. I mean, everybody, you know. Yeah, that's good. Well, after you raised your hand, then, then why didn't you answer the question? Well, because the teacher didn't call on me. He oh. called on Jose. On 
Jose? Yeah, here. Oh, <laughs> hi, Jose. Jose says hello back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, teacher. Oh, I know I shouldn't talk during class, but Susan here asked me a question, and Sus since Susan is real, I felt it'd be all right to talk to her. Oh, yes, teacher. <gasps> what, what did the teacher say? Well, he said he doesn't care if you're real or not. I'm not supposed to talk during class. He said it was all right this time, but not to do it again. Well, he's absolutely right. He sounds very nice, though. Nice? Yeah. Well, why, why, Mr. Smart is only the best imaginary teacher I ever had. Uh, Mr. Smart, I want to thank you for being so nice to Big Bird. That's really nice. He can't hear you, Susan. He can't? No, he's not here anymore. He's he not left here? After, after the bell rang. See, when the bell rings in school, it means the class is over, so Mr. Smart left. The bell rang? I, I didn't hear the bell ring. Well, this is an imaginary school, so we have an imaginary bell. You didn't expect to hear an imaginary bell, did you? Uh, uh, I I'll see you, Big Bird. Uh, bye. Bye. Oh, Susan, look out. What? You almost walked into the imaginary schoolhouse wall. <laughs> yeah, OK, Big Bird, where's the door? Uh, right over there. Great. OK. Bye. Bye, Susan. Whoa! Did you see that? Why, she walked right through a closed door. <laughs> T. Top. What if an anteater had long, long legs? And her tail shrunk. And her nose shrunk. And she grew tiny, tiny horns and a long neck and many spots what would she be an ant-eating giraffe I bet you don't know how to make Chinese noodles. I do. My father makes them in his factory. First, he puts flour and salt and water and mixes them all up in this machine. He puts all the stuff in the needle. That's this machine. And then rolls it and makes it soft. And then makes it all stick together. Then it gets put in this machine. And it gets rolled thinner. And thinner. And longer. And longer. And then it gets ready for the very last machine.
That's the way they make Chinese noodles. And here's the way they eat them. Chinese noodles. They're my very best favorite food. <laughs> Eight seconds left in the game, and Dr. J is guarding Gordon closely. Gordon looks to go to his right, but Dr. J is all over him. Gordon fakes to his left, then goes to his right, goes around Dr. J. He heads down the middle, Moses comes out to defend. Gordon goes back, goes up with one of his fadeaway jumpers, and switch, yes! And the game is over, and the crowd is going wild, and Gordon's teammates come out to congratulate him. Yay! Hi, Gordon. Oh. <laughs> what you were doing there? Oh, hi, Big Bird. Um, well, uh, what I was doing uh, was nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? Gee, sure looked like you were doing something. Yeah. I mean, I saw well, you. You looked like you were doing something. Well, actually, Big Bird, what I was doing was playing some imaginary basketball. Imaginary basketball? Yeah. Hmm. Is that hard to play imaginary basketball? Well, no. As a matter of fact, uh, it's a lot easier playing imaginary basketball. You see, whenever I play imaginary basketball, the ball always goes in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, well, see you later, Big Bird. Okay, see you around, Gordon. Okay. Boy, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Grown-ups have imaginations, too. Imagine that. <laughs> Thank you. 
We take you now to Kermit the Frog with another fast-breaking news story. Yeah, you know, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there, and uh, you know, you remind me of somebody. I just can't figure out who. <laughs> oh, oh, hey ho! This is Kermit the Frog, and I'm speaking to you from Old McDonald's Farm. Uh, you see, because this is the very farm that was made famous by that rhyme, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some... Uh, cows. Cows, yes, mm. E-I-E-I-O, uh, with a moo-moo here. And a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, Old MacDonald does indeed have a farm, yes. E-I-E-I-O. This is it. Uh-huh, and uh, I understand, I, I see that uh, you have a very unusual accent. Oh, ach, hi, laddie, that I do. Uh, would you indeed be Scottish? Well, with a name like McDonald, do you think I'm from Calcutta? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Now, I, I gather, Mr. McDonald, uh, that I'm out here for a very big story because you have something very, very different and unusual to show us today. Oh, okay, that's right, laddie. Uh, and it's something that we have never seen before. Oh, that's right. Uh-huh. Uh, would you tell us what it is? Oh, y y yes, yes. Go on, Bessie. Go on, go on. Uh, it, that's Bessie, it, huh? Yes, it's a spaceship. A, a spaceship. A spaceship. Yes, with a whoosh whoosh here and a whoosh whoosh there. Here a whoosh, there a whoosh, everywhere a whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, you say? Yes, whoosh, whoosh. That's the sound a spaceship makes when it flies around. Wow, well, mm. uh... Okay. Okay, well, old MacDonald has a farm and a reported spaceship, but I, of course, have not seen it. Uh, would you mind describing this uh, reported spaceship for us, Mr. McDonald? Oh, sure, laddie. You see, it's, it's, it's red and it flies through the air, mm -hmm. and, 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 it, and it looks like an upside-down disc. In, yeah. in it, in it. Oh, well, look, there it is. The dog has a spaceship in its mouth. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Put that spaceship down. Uh, wait a second. This is the spaceship, Yes, Mr. it's McDonald? a red spaceship. Mr. McDonald, hmm? this is a Frisbee. A Frisbee? That's a oh. Frisbee. Oh, that's our that's Frisbee. Frisbee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you brought me all the way out here to see a Frisbee? Frisbee. That's a Frisbee. Frisbee, well, well, okay, okay. So old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, mm -hmm. and on that farm he had a Frisbee. Yeah. Uh, I said it was something different. Yeah. Hootman. E-I-E-I-O. A spaceship. <laughs> what? Ah. Oh, no. Look at that. E.T.? Uh, uh, no, no, not E.T., Kermit the Frog. Old MacDonald had a farm, yip, 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 and on his farm he had a frog. With a help, help here and a help, help there. Here, help, there, help, 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 help,
But if they could only get the ball to Big Bird, maybe they could get back into the game. Okay, Oscar's getting ready to throw the ball to Big Bird. He throws it, but he throws it way over his head, and Dr. J takes it and goes right down the court and slam dunks it and scores again. Oh. Hi, Big Bird. Oh, hi, David. How are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I was playing a little imaginary basketball like I saw Gordon playing. Oh, imaginary basketball. Yeah. Well, how's it going? Not so good. I haven't scored any points. Well, that's kind of hard to believe, you know. You're the only person I ever know that doesn't score a whole lot of points when playing imaginary basketball. Well, you know somebody now because I haven't even had a shot. See, I'm imagining that Oscar's playing, too. Oh. And he always throws the ball way over my head. Sounds like him. Well, why don't you just tell him to throw it lower? Well, I did, but you know Oscar, if you ask him to do something, he always does the opposite. Yeah. Well, I'll play with you. You will? Yeah. Oh, why don't you take Oscar's place? Right. I'll imagine he's Tell gone Oscar home. to go home. Bye, Oscar. Bye. There he goes. <laughs> good. Oh, Are we good. ready now? Yes. All right, ready the game is on again. Okay. The game is on. Okay. I've got the ball on the you outside. I've got five right seconds right left, and I throw oh, it to you, I got the ball. You got the ball, and you... Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters T and U, and by the number 11. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.